essence of the museum definitely had to do with the Holocaust. It had to do with people. It had to do with reconstituting as best we could what had been destroyed, uh, what was meant never to survive, and in some way or any way or every way to recapture the essence of villages and towns and sometimes entire cities that no longer had any Jews in them. And I truly, along the Seymour, felt obligated to make every single effort to collect every single item that was of Jewish pertinence, as well as to help those who had been um, uprooted from their homes to have some kind of record of the history of their whereabouts for the last many, many centuries in Tunisia and in Morocco, where the Jews had been there for between 600 and 1,000 years. All of that was about to disappear. Uh, individuals could not bring out of the country any of their beloved artifacts. And uh, there would be no way to keep track of the history of who they were, where they were, what they had done, and what it meant to them, their language, their customs. All of that would have been lost. And they were in a state of anxiety. They were in a state of need. And they welcomed us when we met them. They. Um, they were grateful, they understood that if they were of a cantorial or rabbinical family, that we would, um, we would remember the names of their people, that we would remember their histories, we would remember their costumes, we would learn the details of how, for example, in Morocco, every Jew had to have only a certain kind of embroidery, and every bride would have to have only a certain type of embroidery and so that at a glance every single individual who saw this person would know, aha, this is a Jew.